My hammer burns with holy fire. The light shall bring victory. Going into the last two classes from Bakarane, the hunter and the priest, I think that queuing into this paladin here is probably his best matchup to even the series. And we see a dragon priest. No Cthulhu priest. Not really the typical control priest we've been seeing before before standing but all dragons. Yeah. Which I just Sarah in hand. I mean some people are testing out the new control priest, especially in this tournament. We've seen a lot of it. I think the statistic was I think we saw something like 9 or 10 out of the 39 players bringing three, but only a fair bit of them. Me? And uh, it has served Bakarani well this tournament, making it all the way to the first round. Mind if I roll knee? No feet. Absolutely. We can see another Wormlock agent ah! coming up from Bakarani. Electric to go to heal instead. Interesting play, trying to maybe hold a few cards because perhaps some has some information on Alan and maybe he knows that he's in Alan Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. I mean, do all the Paladin matchups that I saw today at least, he did. I did see only the Healer Paladin with Nazar featuring the one or two Paladins. Yeah, it's great. pretty interesting. We've seen now that the metagame is four days before, having a tournament like this to come to the players, not only from BC, but across the world, it's been an interesting day to say the least. Are you mocking me? Some of that everyone thought we were doing so good. And that's just you, which were dominant before the standard shift, are still dominant now. Goes. Uh, electing to just throw the he is going with the Twilight Element. Clearly off that, um, first round straight away, and, uh, I think now that Bakura and I have seen this, he's probably gotta be thinking in play, um, unless it would be an exhaust deck. So yeah, as you Jake, interesting thought process here with the trade. I suppose he just he wants to get the max value out of the Azure drink. He knows that it can't get cleared easily on board. The one one can't clear it. We don't see Cog Hammer anymore because Cog Hammer's been taken out of the game. So Bakarena is just the entire clerk that we see on board from Bakarena right now. Yeah, that the Twilight. Oh, sorry. Um, the Wild Pyromancer quality being the easiest full board clear in the game. And being used not with the equality, and being answered with the Twilight Corruption. Sounds good. Looks like all of our audio issues have been fixed. Sorry about that, everybody. Back to the game right now. Action is gonna be on Alan Dang. Absolutely. It's sort of like it's sort of like one of those middle game cards that works the same way as Zombie Chow. In the early game, you play Zombie How, it doesn't matter that you want to heal your opponent, just the one or two turns that you can keep the board in your favor. But I believe at this moment it is a very, very powerful choice that has been serving a lot of people well this tournament. Yeah. Uh, we can see the chill mall come down from Bakarenai. Uh, we gotta look at Alan Dang's hand here. Just wanna pop that in there. Oh, Nixia. No, uh, so, a little bit of old love. Got a little bit of old love for uh, Nixia. Still has his 9 mana to work with. The opponent Bakarenai only has a 1 1 on board. Electing to go with the heal and resetting his hand. Understanding that this is a very controlled matchup between the heal paladin and the control dragon priest. I really like this play from Alan Dang. And Alan Dang picking up the Tyrion as well. Very powerful card when played in the right circumstances. Getting a free Tyrion from the Zoth is nothing to be scoffed at. Yeah. We we also see from Bakarenai, as you said, the Tyrion, but Bakarana being a seasoned veteran, a high legend player that we see every season, is keeping that in tune. The far left of his hand, he knows something fishy is going to come out eventually from this paladin. And uh, that that is basically his get out of jail free. And we can use the equality combo with the wild pyromancer. Sometimes you see the rare situation where the shrink meister comes in like a ball, but that's probably maybe one out of every 200. Games. Even now, I haven't seen 
as you see Tyrion coming down. That's uh, that's going to get entombed. I, I would think that 100%, 100%. The, the Tyrion's going to get entombed. The 5-4 is just going to go faith. He could paint it if he really wants to. He could paint it, but I think... How do you think... feel about people? Not too sure. I I think that yeah, it looks like Bogger and I is gonna like to go with the Shadow Lord King here. I don't I don't really mind this, you know, keeping board control, keeping pressure on Alan Dank. Once again, I, I just said this uh, a couple of minutes ago, but these are two very seasoned players. These are not just people from a local tavern here. Alan Dang placed high in last year's World Championship qualifiers, and Bach Rene is a consistent top 100 legendary player. <laughs> But if Bakar and I does stabilize from this Nizov, I think he has the game. With all the most of the threats gone, the Tyrion being in two, there's no more threat of Tyrion. The only threat I believe left in Alan Dang's deck would be the Ragnaros, which a lot of players are running. Is he running the heal right now? Or is he attacking right now? I'm not entirely I'm not too sure. We I'm have seen sure. Ragnarok. So we're seeing the Keeper of Alderman on the Anixia Consecration coming down the clearing board. I mean, this has been, needless to say, a very back and forth match right now. Alan Dang is having a very, very commanding board. The 6-6 six, six, dropped his heal bot and is off, and one of the 1-1s one pops. Yeah, the, the priest from Bakarane is feeling very sad right now, not having a light bomb. Oh, light bombs. Now that it's very, gone. Very gone. No I surprised. think he has to be hoping for a shot over death. I mean, Cabal, Shadow Priest, number one can't be played, wouldn't really impact the board too much. A little bit too late for that. Yeah. Looks like this might even just be a concede here from uh, yeah. from Bakker and I. Having lethal on board, so you have that's game. Yeah, we're gonna see instant concede there from Bakker and I.